If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it if you're happy and you know it stomp your feet if you're happy and you know it say amen amen if you're happy and you know it say amen amen if you're happy and you know it then your face will surely show it if you're happy and you know it say amen I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river I've got peace like a river in my soul I've got joy like a fountain I've got joy joy like a fountain in my soul I've got joy like a fountain I've got joy like a fountain I've got joy like a fountain in my soul
joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, down in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. What else you got? I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart. Where? Down in Understanding down in my heart Where? Down in my heart to stay And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart Down in my heart And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart I've got the wonderful love of my blessed to reach way down in the depths of my heart Where? Down in the depths of my heart Where? Down in the depths of my heart I've got the wonderful love of my blessed to reach way down in the depths of my heart Where? When you encounter mind monsters again Here we go What you gonna do with your mind monsters? Take them captive, take them, take them captive What you gonna do next with those monsters? Make them obedient to Christ What you gonna do with your mind monsters? Take them captive, take them, take them captive What you gonna do next with those monsters? Make them obedient to Christ Make them obedient to Christ Make them obedient, make them obedient Make them obedient, make them, make them obedient Make them, make them obedient Five. We take every thought captive to make it obedient to Christ. Take every thought captive. Second Corinthians 10 5. We take every thought captive. Take it, make it obedient to Christ. Take every thought captive. Second Corinthians 10 5. Make it, make it obedient. Mind monsters are here, mind monsters are there. If we take a closer look, we can see them everywhere. What is a mind monster? It's something we should know. That's why we are here. It's what we will show. Mind monsters are negative invaders of the mind. They prowl around daily, sneaking through any door they can find. Mind monsters don't care if you're a girl or a boy. They are after your peace. They want to steal your joy. 
But my monsters aren't strong. They're actually quite weak. Their power is lost through the faith that we seek. Faith is our power and our partner is Christ. Together we can stop the mind monster thought heist. Faith is our protection. We have Jesus on our side. With him as our defender, mind monsters will run and hide. The F in faith reminds us to focus on the positive. See the good in everything. That's the best way we can live. A is for affirm we're who God says we are. He created us to reign, to be a champion and a star. I reminds us to imagine God doing good things. He loves us more than anything. Only the best for us he brings. T is there to tell us to trust God with everything in life. We trust him when it's good. We trust him when there's strife. H is our reminder to hope for the very best. We do all that we can and believe God will do the rest. Faith defeats mind monsters and helps us guard our hearts. When we spot them quickly, we stop the heist before it starts. Faith assures our victory. Mind monsters don't have a chance. Now rise up and celebrate with a mind monster mashing dance. The end. This is the life of Moses. Well, a big part of his life. If we went over his whole life, we'd be here all day. So, a very, 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 very long time ago, the people of Israel were slaves in Egypt. The king of Egypt was called Pharaoh. Pharaoh was a, not a very nice person, and that's putting it lightly. Long story short, Pharaoh was getting nervous that the growing population of the Israelites would mean they would eventually overthrow him. So he did something super evil. He ordered that all Israelite male babies be killed. Yep, super evil, told you so. <laughs> well, as this order was being carried out, an Israelite mother put her baby boy in a basket and sent it floating down the Nile River to try and save him. In that basket was Moses. Baby Moses, just chilling on the Nile, and probably freaking out since mom just sent him on the biggest water slide. What the? What are you doing, mom? I'm a baby. I, I don't know how to swim. Someone throw me a ref. Now, ironically, the Pharaoh's daughter found Moses on the Nile, fell in love with that baby face, and decided to raise Moses as her own. So, Moses grew up in a palace as a prince, which means he probably got free snacks. I'm talking shish kebabs, tacos, smoothies, or ice cream whenever he wanted. Don't forget the chimichangas. Anyway, Moses was sad because while he lived in the palace, the rest of his people, the Israelites, were still slaves and treated terribly by Pharaoh. So Moses tried to help them, but the Israelites didn't want his help because he was a prince and they didn't trust him. I mean, his adopted evil grandpa Pharaoh did attempt to murder him and a bunch of other babies, so I don't blame him. <laughs> Moses felt like he didn't belong anywhere, so he ran away to a place called Midian and married his wife, Zipporah. Hey, Zippor, or whatever your name is, from the moment I met you, which was last Friday, I knew I wanted you to be my bride. Will you marry me? Um, yes. Gosh, took you long enough. Well, one day Moses was taking care of his sheep when he saw a bush that was on fire. And instead of totally freaking out and yelling, fire, 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 like a normal person, he instead walked up to the bush all like, oh, hey, bush, why aren't you burning when you're on fire? Well, that's plum wild, ain't it? But then he heard the bush say, Moses. And Moses responded, here I am. Turns out, God was appearing to Moses through the fire of the bush and asked Moses to help save the Israelites from Pharaoh and slavery. Well, that kind of freaked Moses out. What? He felt like he wasn't good enough to do what God was asking him to do. Moses questioned God and doubted his choice to have Moses free the Israelite people. He was afraid that nobody would listen to him or that he would fail at what God was asking him to do. But God reminded Moses not to fear. Do not fear. And that he would be with him through it all. I will be with you through it all. The good news is, God loves us even when we have a hard time trusting him. And even though Moses doubted himself, God was with him and gave him the strength to go back to Egypt and free the Israelite people from Pharaoh. It wasn't easy and Moses was scared, but Moses belonged to God and was used to do big things for him. <laughs> 